away. Uh, thank you, Taylor. Justin, you're up next. Yes, sir. Okay, read your report. Space, the final frontier. Jane Burke takes his crew of historical figures, George Washington, Rosa Parks, Adam Sandler, and Scarlett Johansson, and they embark on a mission to the depths of space. But Adam Sandler and Scarlett Johansson are historical figures. I know, but with all these old people on the ship, we have to have someone pretty and someone funny. Duh. Uh, Justin, please proceed. Gladly. They had just arrived on a distant planet, home of the crayons. The crayons were strange looking. They came in many colors. Blue, purple, orange, tangerine. Hold up, this sounds familiar. And crayons sounds a whole lot like crayons. <gasps> I wonder tangerine tastes like the fruit. Yes, Taylor, and it tastes like paraffin wax that'll probably put you in the hospital. Have a bite. <laughs> now, if you guys will stop interrupting, I can get back to my report. If that's what you call it. So, Captain James Burke begins to communicate with the leader, William Shave's ear, and- William Shavespear? As a teacher of mathematics, I cannot allow this inaccurate historical representation. It's Shakespeare. Justin, did you do any research? Shave's ear, Shave's Shakespeare. What's the big oof? They both sound like complete snob. Oh, my uncle's a snob. Or is he a bum? All I know is he loves to take walks, eat food from my hands. It's so cute when he jumps up on me and licks my face. Oh wait, or is that my dog? Oh no, it's my uncle. Guys, this is a historical moment. Taylor learned the difference between a dog and an uncle. Wait, there's a difference? Guys, let me finish my report. Actually, Justin, that's enough. Please have a seat. If I take two, will you take five? Just sit down. <sighs> Nailed it. What's a junior class citizen like you doing in this hallway? And if my day couldn't get any worse? No, silly. I changed it to Ernie. You seem upset, little munchkin. What's wrong? He gave me an F. An F. Has that man ever read fine art? This is a democracy. Wait, who's a democracy? Not that. I'm just upset with Mr. T's grading system. He just doesn't understand you like I do. That came across a little weird. At least he gave me to the end of the day to turn in the new report. I just had to cram everything I know about historical figures in 45 minutes. Hey, the aftermath of my last burrito lasted 45 minutes. <sighs> You're not helping. I need to learn everything about historical figures. How do you suppose you do that? A, a workout, workout montage. montage. Okay, Ernie, write this down. Okay, my little bran muffin. Ready for liftoff. Let's start with Christopher Columbus. <laughs> At first, he didn't intend on finding the new world. Yeah, that's a good start. I'm gonna roll. Let's try another one. Alexander the Great. That's one. Finished. End of essay. That was quick. It only took us a quick blackout to finish it. Yes, finally done. Now, to get a drink of water and not pay attention to what could happen to my report. <sighs> Re 
refreshing. Now to return to my essay, which I kept in a safe place. <gasps> oh dearie me! Stop right there! They found me! They who? They... <laughs> no! I'm Ernie. Now stop getting distracted and let's have a chase scene with that guy. Right. We're never gonna catch him. If you believe it, you can achieve it. What child cereal box did you get that off of? Chucky Charms. Look, there he is! Hey, pretty lady, what it do? Yes, what it do? You guys are the reason my cat hates me. You don't know how many times I hear that one. Aren't you with Sarah? We're not dating. Oh, babe. I wasn't talking to another woman if that's what you're worried about. I don't care. She's my friend. Her name is, uh, um, Erna. <laughs> Gross. Sarah, did you see anyone running with a report? Yeah, I think I saw a guy run into the black box. Thanks, babe. <laughs> ah! <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I didn't scare you too much, did I? Fine. Okay. Wait. Did you take my report? Can you guys believe someone just left this laying around? Oh, who else would it be? A student with revenge. Look guys, it's a new season and, and it's a, just a good way to introduce a new character. So just roll with it, okay? Anyway, I was the one who took the test. <laughs> I don't know what you have to gain from that, but give it back, Mr. Mr. Um. Petrillo. Well, Petrillo. Hey, it's Italian. Hmm, yes. Mr. Petrillo, what are you doing here? Uh, don't look at me, woman. <clears throat> oh, what's with that ridiculous outfit? Uh, this isn't an outfit. This is my, my usual attire. <laughs> Explain yourself. Well, I didn't think that anybody would take me seriously as an evil teacher, so I... I thought that it would be a good idea to steal somebody's history essay, and uh, they would fail. <laughs> and I would have gotten away with it too if it wasn't for those meddling kids and their unexpected teacher. In all honesty, I didn't really do anything. I just acknowledged you were here. Mr. Petrillo, I'm sure it's past your lunch break and you need to get back to class. Hmm. Kids, stop chasing evil teachers. Yes! She called me evil! <laughs> oh! Darn it, Buttercup! We still didn't get your report back! Okay, we really need to talk about these nicknames. Justin, have your report for me? Funny story. A man in a cloak took my essay, but it turned out not to be a man, but Mr. Petrillo. Oh, and he's evil. He prefers evil teacher. Wait, Mr. Petrillo, an evil teacher? He couldn't hurt a fly. I should know, I, I saw him try to kill one yesterday and he hid under his desk. Guess who? Oh, hey, we were just talking about you. Oh, I hope these were good things. Actually, the kids thought you were some evil teacher. Isn't that ridiculous? <laughs> 
that's ridiculous. Evil teacher? As if I, I have some evil cape or uh, some diabolical plan to steal some innocent child's paper. <laughs> that would be hilarious. Really? Now next time, I expect you to write a real report. Not some made-up story about some evil teacher. You got that? Now, if we're done with all this foolishness, I've got a report on Benjamin Franklin I have to give my Algebra 2 students. Well, that just happened. We should be in more episodes.